So, next green spot. Well, Rosie, or the girl who wants to find her Rosie there. This green spot over here. Oh, oh, thank goodness. Listen, lad, could you do me a favor? I've got to, you know, answer a call of nature. Oh, stay here and watch this stock for me. There's a good lad. Just stand between those two stacks and don't move. I'll put a good word in for you when I get back. Right, won't be long. Alright. My cousin says that the barrels in these warehouses might have stuff in them. Well, that's what Quick, a warehouse is for. while he's away, smash his barrels up and see what's inside. Unless you're too scared. Unless you're just a big blubbing girl. Come on, let's go and break stuff. Dude, kid. Just gonna stand there like a lemon? Uh-huh. But being good is so boring. Go away. <laughs> Wouldn't you prefer to be smashing things? Come on, there's still time. Be can I target him? No, okay. Come on, there's still time before he gets back. So yeah, we're just twiddling our oh, thumbs at this no point. Fun at all. Watching the timer go down because apparently I'm playing good. Which, you know, isn't a bad thing. Um story really doesn't change all that much. Fine. Good Have or evil. It's just good day, really your powers is really the only difference and your looks, naturally. At least I don't think the story changes. Huh. Actually, I don't remember, but we'll Excellent. do good. Excellent. Thanks, lad. You've done me a big favor. I'll let your dad know what a splendid Sorry. watchman you made. Oh, good deed. Alrighty. And now we can smash up the barrels. seeing anything. Looks like they take away the stuff once you've done the quest. <laughs> yep. Totally took away all the stuff. Whoa! Except for the bug! Hello, bug! Go away! Okay. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, so the good bad thing, um, that is the karma meter, which, well, we're, we can't access it yet because we're still in little kid mode, but once we're all grown up, we will have, um, it will track these two things. Your, your personality, which is like your karma, and your various experience, which is just your skills. Right now, yeah, nothing much interesting. Oh, oh, right, the little girl still wants her bear. Let's go find the bear. You stupid little idiots. Oh. I want more pocket money next week. Get him off me! Please help! He goes around the town beating up anyone smaller than him. Hey, wait, I'm smaller than him. But you look strong. I bet you could scare him off for good. Have you cleaned my mum's car for me yet? Alrighty. Yes. Ah! Oh, you... Ow! I'm sorry! I'll leave him alone! Just please don't hit me again! It's a little neener neener thing. Thank you! You stopped him good! Thank you! Here, I'll let you look after Rosie. She'll be safe with you. That's convenient. Yeah, did you see him making uh, faces at the bully behind her back? Balls, kid. You got balls. Alrighty. Looky! Hi, hey, Rosie. Or, dang it, what's her name? Rosie's the bear. <gasps> you found Rosie! Thank you so much! Come on, Rosie. Let's change your stuffing. Yeah, it's probably a bad sign uh, when the. Uh... Oh, there's a little swine. I'm going after him. Trade good. Whoa! Oh, he saw me smash stuff right. up. Got you, you little ruffian! I've heard reports that you've been doing bad deed, destruction of a person's vendables. 
That sort of behaviour is not acceptable. If you were older, you'd be apprehended and fined by the town guards. You need to decide if behaving like that is worth it, my young friend. I'll leave it at that for now. But think about what I've said. Alright. Yeah, he just gave us a rundown of um, the basic crime and punishment system. Yeah, you take and break stuff, you pay the fine, or else you run away until the fine goes down, but that's beside the point. Hi, Dad! Mm, Give me money. I'm a man of my word, so here's the gold for your good deeds. But if you think that I'll turn a blind eye to your mischief, you're very wrong. Look, try to keep out of trouble, please, for me. Well, I think you may have enough there, son. Have you spoken to the trader? Huh. Well, that was kind of neat. It tracked my bad deeds, but at the same time, um... It, it, it tracked my bad deeds, but at the same time, it still got money for the good. I didn't know that it had the, uh... The engine had taken account of that possibility. <laughs> yeah, this is our house. Dead clothes. Ooh, bed. Harvest day 15. Mother is away again. She never tells us where. I think father is a little sad when she goes. Aww. Harvest day 18. I had that nightmare again last night. There's a big room, and right in the middle of it, there's a big swooshing light that feels like it's going to suck me in. I still couldn't see what was in the middle of it. I don't think I ever want to. Harvest Day 19. I had another dream. I was opening birthday presents, and I was so happy. Then something happened, and it was so horrible it woke me up. I think that part was only a dream, though. Harvest Day 21. It's my birthday today. I bet my brother forgets again, but at least Mother will be back. I got up early to look out over the sea, and now I'm going to play in the top field. Alrighty. Well, that tells us where she is. Um... Though, I don't really know if reading your sister's diary counts as a I wonder what do uh, next. good or neutral D. That's not really something you're supposed to be doing when you're a little Stock boy. available! Ooh, Hello. you're lucky I've still got these sweets. Quickly, give me three gold pieces now, and they're yours. Young sir, they are yours. Wish your sister a happy birthday from me now, won't you? See your blinking dot in the top of the map. Birds. Oh, there she is. Hello, little brother. I hope you haven't forgotten what day it is, like you did last year. I'm sorry if I woke you up last night. It was another of those dreams. I was standing in this field when something happened. But I can't remember what. Never mind that, though. I'm still waiting for my present. I knew you were going to bring me chocolates. It's just like my dream. Come on, let's go home. Mother will be back for my party any minute now. more to say. Evil had come to Oakvale. Bandits wielding torches and steel, slaying and burning all in their path. Blood-red flames lit the night as the villagers screamed and begged for mercy. And soon, 
Their bodies filled the streets. Then the raiders reached the last house, where the boy and his family lived. It was them they had slaughtered so many to find. The father fought to protect his kin, but he was no warrior, and fell mortally wounded. The bandits ripped the house apart, but could not find the boy. Through torture and threats, his mother and sister remained silent, and their furious attackers took them both. From the nearby woods, the boy watched as all he knew was taken away. His whole life was crushed to ashes. He was alone. Um, so, yeah, traumatizing. Sounds like a little gold crime. Ah. Jeez. Look at all these. Huh. You notice though that none of these are children. <laughs> yeah. Probably kind of wanted to keep the rating from. I don't even know. Like, can, can they show the children in video games? Ah, crap. Yeah, it's the dad. We must leave. It's not safe here. They're all dead. You don't want to join them, do you? Then give me your hand. 